here's my Dometic refrigerator. Let's uh, latch it and pull it out all the way. I don't know if you can see up in there. See that little glowing light? That is its current cigarette lighter outlet that is powering it. And we're going to pull that out and add a power pole connector to it and to the end of the cord that you see that goes to the side of the refrigerator. Let's get that done. So I pulled the fridge out and this is the cord that goes into it and one of the first things that I am going to do is check the polarity on this plug. And the way that we'll do that is we will set the auto ranging multi-tester to 20 volts. You see it reads zero because there's no voltage going into it. This poor guy is taking a lot of abuse. <laughs> Take a look at that uh, little duct tape fix job there. Anyhow, let's get to the testing portion. I have my positive and negative probes. And I'm just going to guess. I'm going to put one in one side and one in the other. Amazingly enough, this this out this cord is not marked as to what's what. And if you see, it's a negative 12.8. So I have the plugs reversed or the probes reversed. Positive appears to be to the right hand side. There we go. 12.79 volts. So that is what we want to have come out in the end. Once we get done, we want them to read the exact same. So the next thing we need to do is cut this cord. I know, it's scary, right? Let's do that. So in thinking about this, um, before I cut that cord, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scribe a little plus on the positive side so I remember what's what rather than realize that right is red and left is black. Once I have that mark on there, I will know that um, to be positive from this day forward. There we go. Without being uh, damaging, that should be legible for some time. I guess I got to work on the upper one. Almost looks like a minus. We'll take care of that and then move on to stripping. So I've cut off the connector, leaving enough cord to make it usable if I wanted to splice it into something else. And then I strip the ends. And the next thing we want to do is check to see which end is positive or negative. It doesn't matter. Pick one. I always go for positive. So we set our multimeter to uh, somewhere in the ohms range. And I will place one of the terminals or the uh, the probes into the socket on the positive side. Like I said, I'm, I go for the positive. Don't want to be spreading the negative. Anyhow, so we look at the volt tester or voltmeter and touch the wire. And that wire is the positive. So this we know to be the positive and we will crimp the positive connector onto this one. If you notice the standard for the connectors is to have the positive on the right hand side and so okay so I got that crimped. This is the positive. Just double checked it. And it will slide right into the back side of this power pole connector. And then when I force it all the way forward, it will click and snap in. I can't do it single-handed. And unfortunately, I don't have anything to hold my phone at the moment. So, um, you'll have to bear with me. And I'll get this done and then show you the result. There we go. Work is complete. I'm going to once again double-check my work.
you don't want to reverse the polarity on something and so I am testing uh, single-handed work here so I have the multi-tester back in the ohms mode and I will connect to or stick the probe in the positive side and you will see that there is zero ohm zero resistance so that means it is the correct connector do that once again so infinite resistance and then I put the connect the probe in and no resistance so positive to positive okay now to eliminate that cigar or cigarette lighter plug up there we'll take that out and do the same thing with it okay so because DC voltage has such a huge loss over distance the the wire that I ran from the batteries is oh I want to say 8 gauge very heavy gauge wire because I knew I wanted my refrigerator to run as efficiently as possible the lower gauge wire that you use the more loss and over this distance I have about oh two tenths of a volt loss which doesn't sound like much but it actually really counts in DC so I had to create a pigtail to go from the 10 gauge down to wire that the um, power pole connectors would accept they accept up I'm sorry 8 gauge wire is what I have and the power pole connectors accept up to 10 gauge wire so 8 gauge just a little bit too big to fit in the power pole connectors and crimp but I got it done I have a little pigtail here I'm going to um, tape these connectors up so that they don't vibrate loose or come loose at any point in time that's how I had them before you can still see some of the old tape on there so I get those taped up and then taped together and against this cord and we'll be ready to move the fridge back in and plug it in I've already checked the polarity making absolutely certain that uh, the positive goes to the positive and the negative to the negative it would be catastrophic to any DC device if you accidentally reversed the polarity so let's get this taped up and I'll move that fridge in and that'll be it we'll be done we'll check it out at that point maybe grab a frosty beer out of there okay one last polarity check before we plug her in you see the plus that I'd carved into there and the positive probe is in the positive side and we check the voltage it's positive 12.68 volts so we should be good to go let's pull the probes out of there and plug her in if it was focus there we go and plug her in now we see the lights reflected it is working correctly so we've gone from what was the uh, cigarette lighter adapter which handles maximum about 15 amps and is unreliable as far as a connection because they do get pulled out to the power pole connector which can handle up to 45 amps without uh, causing you know corrosion or heating up or anything so there we are completely kitted up with a power pole connector just like my ham radio and the rest of my appliances will be um hope you enjoyed and think about it think about converting if you get a chance you can get a a power pole to cigarette lighter adapter if you need it and uh it could be a, ma a male or a uh, female cigarette lighter adapter it will allow you to plug anything in, especially uh, high consumption items like a refrigerator. Y'all have a good night. Keep rambling on.